You betrayed them! I'm sorry, Mel, the money just got too good. Besides, it's not like I did it to you. When you betray my crew, you betray me. What are you gonna tell them? How are you gonna explain my death? I don't know. Well, don't tell them. Don't tell them what I did. Stay there! <laughs> Finally found you. Four years. Tesla? You think it's really him this time? He's down there, hiding away like some evil groundhog. I'm sure of it. Get ready to breach the planet's atmosphere. You see that? You want to go check monitor? Hey, Bear. Last time we made port, you did refuel the ship, right? I thought you did. Why? <laughs> this is about to get infinitely more interesting. You may want to hold on to something. Computers say ship has lost power. What is plan? Ship is in free fall. You want I go? I go. Thank you, Sugar. I guess there's only one thing left to do. What's that? Assume the best anti-death position. Well. What are you doing in the forest? Jogging. Is the body good? Towards a large explosion? Towards a large explosion. Same team? Same team. Good.
like bag of potatoes. What? What? No! What? No! 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 Look, Jill. Russians. Doesn't that... Wait. Do you hear that? There! You recognize him? Nope. Are you okay? There. What? Bears? Where did it go? Gotta find. Shh, I want the bear to find us. Bear. What? Where? God damn it. Must be a big bear. We should get him somewhere safe. No, we leave him here, the bear will eat him, and it'll keep him off our trail. You're sick. Whatever. No friend of Bareface Lady. She all alone in woods. Well, I'm sorry, honey. Sounds like your friend might have been incinerated. No, 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 no. Captain Sidewinder always survives crashes. They happen a lot, actually. Wait. Repeat that last sentence. They happen a lot, actually. Before that. Captain Sidewinder always survives crashes. Curious. You sure there's no sign of this man, Nick? No sure. Bareface lady make lots of talk. Comrade Nikolai distracted. <laughs> Thought he was dead. Who? Nikolai, take our new friends to her room and keep her company. Duh. You know this man? This, what was it, Captain Skyfinder? Sidewinder. Never would have guessed he would have taken that name again. How can you share the same name? We've been here for years. I was somewhere else years before that. He must be getting pretty rusty to have taken this long to find me. He's been tracking you for years? Is he a threat? He can be. When provoked. While we're keeping his girl then, won't that provoke him? Maybe. It could be a simple coincidence, but if it's not, it'll make speaking with him more diplomatic. Still sounds a bit risky, kidnapping his girl. Sounds like it might be hard to kill. Relax, Oli. We are criminals. We have not kidnapped anyone. Besides, you know it's harder to kill me. <laughs> No, I'm serious. What if the bear caused the explosion? <laughs> no more whiskey for you. No. What if the bear exploded? <laughs> this is ridiculous. We have the technology to travel from planet to planet, but we still use revolvers. I like my revolver. I like mine too, but that doesn't make it any less ridiculous. Bear! What? Where? Where is she? Where is who? There's a girl with me. A girl? Yes. Where is she? We found you babbling in the woods about bears. We did the only logical thing, which was get the hell out of there. Her name is Bear. I really need to find her. Uh, I told you no bears. 
Her name is Bear? Yeah. I really need to find her. It was only you and a, your furry hat. Actually, that's not his. That belongs to Volta's damn cyborg. Cyborg? Uh, cyborg belongs to Volta the bastard that threw me out, sold the ranch, and been running the town ever since. You lost the ranch? A lot has changed since you ran away, Jack. Look, this is all very endearing, and I'm really sorry to hear about your ranch, but I really need to find this cyborg guy, or Volta. Could either of you help me? I'm sorry. Who are you? And why were you flying way out here? I'm Captain Sidewinder. Me and Bear were looking for somebody when we crashed. Name's Jill Steady. Volta's always in town, but I'm not welcome there anymore. What about you? I can visit the saloon. I'm Jack Swift. Nice to meet you. I'll take you there in the morning. Yet, for the last time, you no leave, barefaced lady. That's Viz, barefaced lady, to you. Holy cow, are you a giant? No. You're so tall. It's so cool. Why do you talk so funny? I am not funny. You're just shy around girls. It's okay, big guy. Whoa, what are you? I am from the north of your western. What does that mean? It means you stop talking now. Oh my god, did Volta make you Russian? That's so cute! You're like a big metal vodka drinking Pinocchio! Can I call you Uncle Vanya? Do you have a big furry hat? Do you like mine? It's a bear. <laughs> You're full of shit! I tell you I seen it! Yesterday afternoon, a big old spaceship crashed in that forest over there. There ain't been a spaceship around these here parts for years. <laughs> you get your eyes checked, you know, have the doctor crack open your skull and pull the dust off your brain. <laughs> Hi there, fancy britches. Where the hell you come from? Who are you? Space. I'm Captain Sidewinder. And who are you? Name's Blue. Blue? My mama called me Bartholomew. Well, the folks around here call me Blue, because it's light on the syllables. And you are? Name's Red. Is that short for Frederick? It's short for Red. What the hell kind of question is that? I'm looking for a man named Volta. Can you help me find him? He is a friend of mine. The Marcus L. Volta? Well, he moves around a good deal. He's fairly welcome in these parts. Might have trouble finding him. <clears throat> what do you think, Blue? He's got a place above the bar, so you might check there. But he hasn't been in town these past few days. He's been too busy making this town rich. Far too busy for the likes of you. If I was you boys, I'd just move along. For a man speaking of riches, you look awfully poor. Homeless, even. Smelly. I ain't homeless. And no, I ain't rich, but I'm gonna be. We all gonna be rich. The way Marcus Volta's been running this here town, gold's gonna be flowing through that there street like a river. Marcus Volta? He's the best damn thing ever happened in this town. At least keeps the damn outsiders out of town anyway. <laughs> oh. Nice. I wasn't expecting such a warm welcome. Jill's judgments have been a bit usually steady, but it must be slipping. What's the deal with you two, anyways? Ah, uh, we're married. 
Can I get another one? Certainly. Drinks is on the house, courtesy of Marcus Bolton. Oh my god. The man's a saint. Praise Volta! Praise, Praise Volta. Volta! Hell yeah. So, gonna go get a drink in here? I'm married. <laughs> sure. Who are you? I'm pleased to meet two such fine gentlemen. But you can call me Lily. And you? Uh, Jack Swift. <laughs> Sidewinder. Ah, Captain Sidewinder, so I am at the right table. Now, I hear you two might be looking for Marcus Bolton. Yes. I hear he might know something about a friend of mine, Bear. Ah, odd girl, wears a bear hat, talks a lot. That's her, where is she? <laughs> Marcus and Nick are looking that there. Were you in that ship that crashed? Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Marcus said he could set you and the girl up with a ship, get you off planet. I can't thank you enough. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear she's all right. Don't mention it at all, sugar. Thanks for the ship, but I have some unfinished business to attend to here. Oh, that's funny. Marcus said he might say that. So that being the case, I'm to tell you that Tesla says hello. Repeat that. says hello. Praise Volta. Tell Volta I'm coming, and if he lays so much as a finger on Bear, I swear to God, I will not fire warning shots. I aim to kill. We're leaving. And then Wash gets impaled with a stick. <clears throat> but in my version of the movie, he and Zoe have hundreds of racially diverse children. The bastard shot at me! Shh! Near end of firebug story. Are you paying attention? He shot at me. You call that diplomatic. Davushka whine like mule. You are still alive. More diplomatic than the bullets that would have gone through your head. This is why we kept the girl. You knew this was going to happen? More or less. And he sent me down there by myself? What were my options, Lily? He would have shot me with or without the girl, and Nikolai hasn't exactly mastered the English language. Comrade Nikolai, not yet master conjugation. I think he talks cute. And besides, he listens to my stories. We're just getting this part with a reverse. Well, you shut up! You shut up. Behave. Nikolai, take Bear to the next room and finish the story. I'll have to catch up later. Duh. So, his reply to my offer was negative. Things were going fine until I gave him a message about that Tesla fellow. That certainly pissed him off. Mikado always was a bit melodramatic. Thought he would have matured after four years, but I guess my expectations were too high. What? It doesn't matter. He means to be troublesome. He could say that. I would not get the town involved, but I'm certainly not going to let him hunt me down. Get the girl until Nikolai enter combat mode. was unexpected. Nikolai? What are you doing? I watched Bareface Lady tell Firebug's story. Oh, then where is she? Right here. Oh. Simon and Kaylee have steamy moment, then all go black. Bear deactivated you. No. Sneaky sneak from behind. Sidewinder? It doesn't matter. Find her now and, and take our Soviet tin can with you. I'm not made from tin. Check the woods. We must finish this. We will make crush of this snake lord. That's my boy. Why you 
at that lady. I didn't shoot at her. I sent a message. Who the hell is Tesla? That's not important. You asked for my help. I'm not gonna go anywhere until you tell me what's going on. Who the hell is Tesla? And why are you waving your pistole around threatening random civilians? Volta is Tesla. Tesla is Volta. They're the same man. You wanna kill Volta? The guy who gave us free drinks? I don't care what he's done here. He deserved to die three systems ago. Free drinks? Where? Bears! Hi, Captain. Bear! <laughs> Aw, an enchanted moment. I can't thank you enough. Where did you find her? Oh, I got bored following you two around, so I sent a mosey on over to Volta's hideout. He had her, that damn Ruski cyborg watching her. So I snuck up behind him, deactivated him. <laughs> we need to get going, though. They should have noticed by now. You two better go, and take Bear with you. This is my fight, not yours. I'm not leaving. That man took all my property and ran me out of town. This is just as much my fight as yours. Do we need to kill him? Town looked pretty fantastic from where I was standing. He may have brought prosperity, Jack, but he's wronged more than just me. Anyone who stood up to him has been run out of town, and if they wouldn't leave, well, that sideboard exists for a reason. You won't be hearing from the Johnson family anymore. He'd have killed me too if I hadn't got out so early. And the town allows this. Why shouldn't they? They haven't seen this much money in generations. Volta never does anything directly. And he keeps them all more than happy. Hard to bite the hand that feeds you. You should leave this to us, Jack. You probably should, Mr. Swift. Uh, toss your guns aside, please. Miss Steady's story was quite accurate, though she did forget the Pinkertons, the O'Reillys, the Tooleys, and the... The uh, Stones. Stones, ah, that's right. But this isn't your battle, Mr. Swift, or uh, yours, Miss Steady, or yours, Bear. This is between me and the Captain. Go to hell, Volta. I plan to, Miss Steady, but I have other business to attend to first. Uh, Lily, if you would please look after Bear. And Nikolai, uh, keep our friends from interfering. Uh, don't kill them, unless you have to. Duh. Have fun. <laughs> I've been hunting you for years. This ends today. I admire your tenacity, Mikado, however annoying it may be. But you're right, it does end today. However, I do intend to have some fun first. Interfere, and I will break you like that of Kit Kat. Uh, oh, well, no problem. Oh my god, a distraction! There was no distraction. Now I will crush you! Jill, help! Backup system fully operational. Grab a stick. Hit him, hit him!
That's it. We win. Put down your gun, Volter, or I shoot the lady. <coughs> Sorry, babe. What don't you understand? Yep, that's mine. Jack! Where were we? I was going to be merciful, Mikado. Four years is a bit ridiculous, but you know what? I should have expected it. You always were a bit of a crusader. But I gave you an out, and you and Barry could have left no questions asked. <coughs> but then you would have won. No, you would have just lost. But that wasn't enough for you. I can't let you go, Tesla. Not after what you did. Oh. You don't deserve to live. <laughs> <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. But that is the past, and you should have buried it, Mikado. Because frankly, you and your friends have just really pissed me off. <laughs> Which limb would you like me to shoot next, Mikado? How about a leg? <laughs> you kill me, you kill this town. <laughs> it won't make it by itself. I'll take my chances. Bear! Bear, are you okay? I bring the bare-faced lady face back. You continue firebug story? Of course. I protect the bear lady now. How do we know we can trust you? Okay, thank you. You are welcome, Snake Lord. Do you have anywhere to go? Not really. Ain't nothing left for me around here. Well, we could always use an extra hand on our ship, if you're interested. And we shall call this land? Mm. And we shall call this land... Wine. This land. Mm. This land. This is your captain speaking. All crew members report to the bridge immediately. Please. Captain? Jill, go pilot, fast.
We seem to have a slight problem. So, whose turn was it to refuel the ship? Not me, I did it last time. No, you didn't let... Never mind. Jill? I thought it was Nikolai's turn. Yet. Ah. So, this means it was my turn. Anti-death positions? Anti-death positions. Thank you.